Reporters who were in the courtroom are indicating that they are going to be allowed to remain free while they wait uh, for trial uh, in this, uh, this very controversial case. It's the next step in the McDonald legal story, which frankly has been going on for months. Bob and Maureen McDonald face 14 counts, corruption charges relating to the gifts they received from that CEO of a health supplement company. We're talking about shopping sprees, you name it. High-end stores, tens of thousands of dollars in loans, Rolex watch inscribed with the governor's name, title, golfing trips, $165,000 in all. They entered the court holding hands today for this initial appearance and uh, in federal court. And I think we have to say in Richmond, it's the kind of uh, situation where uh, we're going to see a long fight, a long legal fight in Virginia, because Bob McDonald has said he did nothing wrong. Uh, He's not taking responsibility for anything his wife may have done, and he says he's broken no laws, Ashley. You know, the the fact that you just said that, a long, drawn-out battle, this could have been a very short story as well because there's talk of plea bargain discussions. What went on? Well, uh, we were told that late last year, Bob McDonald was offered a deal by federal rural prosecutors to essentially plead to one charge and he would be able to spare his wife uh, the embarrassment and the trouble of being charged as well. But the source who told us that also uh, characterized what McDonald did when he turned down the plea deal as throwing his wife under the bus. Uh, The source also said the McDonald team had asserted they did not believe the Department of Justice could get a conviction against McDonald at trial based on the evidence they had. McDonald, again, he said he has broken no laws.